attempt. Number three. What? You don't have to chase them. Brains. 120 cows. See a big Angus bull. This is a godsend. I'll leave you there. Yeah. Yeah, take this through. Go up. I think you to a nice place. Good I'll yeah. take the, the mallet too and act as a barrier for that gate. So some of you may notice that the yard is more mucky than normal. Our scrape tractor this morning had a flat tire and the tires just actually on knackered. So a roadrunner has been in and changed that. So we've changed that this morning so we haven't had a chance just to scrape the yard up yet. I'll tell you what, that is a horrible big bale. Straight up to the dry cows. Yeah, we'll leave this up here, up there and you jump in with the cows like you and me. Yes, the yard is a little bit more mucky than it should be because A, it's rained and B, we've not been able to scrape, scrape it up yet. You'll see that I'm wearing woolly hat. Actually, good morning, everyone. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Go hit the subscribe button. Ring the little bell. It's the little bell next to the subscribe button. Go ring it because then you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday. Sometimes we do Sundays. What I was saying then is you can tell I'm wearing a beanie hat. I have a beanie hat on my head. It is the start of August and it's cold, it's wet, it's miserable. It's so weird, I don't get it myself. But here we are. <laughs> Got a beanie on my head, but hey ho, gears. What we're doing today is we're having a bit of a move around day. Uh, I've got six cows to dry off. So you would have seen that I dried uh, one of the cows off there. We dried five off before that. We've got three loaded into the trailer. Uh, I've got two dry cows to bring back into the herd. And then I have a heifer and a bull that I want to bring back with the herd as well. These guys are a little bucket me because normally I feed them in the morning, but I'm just going to leave feeding for now. Dry cows. What is a dry cow? That's a good question. Anyone who hasn't watched my YouTube video before, a dry cow is a cow that has two month break before calving. They will carve, they will milk, and then two months before their next calf, they have, let's say, a holiday and they just literally just chill out in the field, graze their lives away, and enjoy themselves. I have some cake in here that I'm going to feed the other guys, but the dry cows don't get any cake because all we want to do is just keep maintenance. So to keep maintenance is we don't want them to lose weight, we don't want them to gain weight, we want them to keep the same weight they are. That is the ideal scenario, we hope. That is following with a matter too. Right, let's go see some dry cows. First rule of farming, always oh, shut the gate. Oh, come on, baby. So, like I said, six to dry off, two to get. I've written down the two on my hands, one, two, two, and two, four, nine. Desmondo is here. By the end of this month, August, Desmondo is not gonna be here, are you, Des? No. Des is leaving us. Des is actually doing his full-time job. He's leaving us. The Land Rover will not be accessible. We'll have to think about something else. I'll think about coming and picking it up. I'll think about coming and picking up. Either or, changes are to be soon. So, very sorry to see Des. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to chuck the drone up, but the app's not working. So, me and drones, we just work so well. Again, guys, August. Love the wet weather, it's great. There's that, it's 249. And then 122, two, that's the black one. Further away. You guys are there, so I can be a little bit more agile. I was both there. Attempt number three. As easy as that, mm -hmm. you know that that's just that's just how easy it is. Jumping in here. 
So you'll see in this group, in this field here, I wish I'd get my drone up, but it's not playing games today. We've got the dry cows, so the big cows with a bit of an udder. And then we've got the to be bullying heifers. So you see these guys there, there's about five bullying heifers to be in the next month or something. They're just a little bit too young at the moment. Hold it! <laughs> I'll meet you over there, yeah? Yeah. Whoop, whoop. As people know, we feed him half a bag of cake. I think there's about 34 in this group. Half a bag of cake, so you're looking at about 30 pounds. A pound a beast a day. Just keeps them friendly, keeps them local to us, keeps them coming. So if we ever need to do anything to them, we just shout them up and they come. Because one of the things I hate is chasing cows. Right, let's load these others up. Look at that. Already loaded up. Well, no messing about, Tom. We are taking these two dry cows to the farm, tipping them with the milking herd. Then going to bring the other three cows that we just dried off, put them with the dry cows. The dry cows there. And then we're going to pick the bull up. We're going to bring the bull back to the farm because I am away this weekend. Today is Tuesday. So instead of the weekend milker who can do some serving a dad having to ring someone up and do some serving we're going to put neptune in with the milking herd those heifers that he's with at the moment he's been with them for at least two months he has been with the highlands as well but they're not going to miss him for a week eight days that is the plan <laughs> Please don't go in there, please don't go in there, please don't go in there. You see with the scrape tractor getting a flat tire this morning. We had to put a bale of straw here, normally we push it into there. So like I say, when I come back, I have a lot of scraping up to do. Good girl. <laughs> no more Land Rover. No more breakdowns. Land Rover do not break down. Yeah. Tom doesn't know how to drive the Land Rover. You can't I've never break down. A problem with it. You can't break down when you don't have a car. Correct. So, the plan. Feed these guys a bit of cake. See, it's really wet around there. It's because it's August. What? You are right. Yeah, yeah, I'll get him here. He'll follow her back. Dad tried to do it all by himself. Clever like Tom. Go on then, go on bully. See, when you feed them cake, they come to you and you don't have to chase them. Brains. Two here, Dad, I think. Three away. The field can save longer, Ross. Come at that, straighten up. Yeah, come at that, come at that. Whip it in a bit. That'll do. Ow. I thought it would be because I watched you do it the other day with something. We've loaded up there. Dad tried to do it on his own. Why? Because he's 63 and he thinks he knows better. 62, 63? 63. I got them all three together. Did you see me though? I got my bag and they came straight away. 28. Can't believe I'm 28. But yeah, so we've pulled out two heifers and pulled out a, a Neptune. You'll see that these are our bullying heifers at the moment. We've got a couple of new bullying heifers to put with him. If you want to see that, please put it in the comment section below. I never know if this stuff is a bit boring or you actually like to see it. You'll see we've got one Charolais in here. This Charolais was one of the biggest in the ones I just fed. If you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you'll see a really good post picture of a Charolais in some nice grass. That was that one because it kept jumping over the fence into our second cut that hadn't been mown or chopped at the time. Right, Des, I'll follow you. We're going to put them in the stalls, go and trim tails up. What have you flied, Neptune? No, I'll do him whilst he's yeah. in there and the two heifers. We'll give him a bit of a pamper and then we'll let him out. That's the plan. So I just apologise as this video has been a bit fast and a bit snippy of what we've been doing. If you do have any questions, put it in the comment section. Um, halfway through the video, I was like, oh, this is boring. No one's going to care about this. I'm going to um, I'm going to stop filming. I'm glad I've kept 
filming, glad I'm at it. Sometimes, as a YouTuber, anyone who's young and wants to start filming, and they pick up the camera and halfway through, they think, oh, I can't be bothered. Sometimes you make your best videos, I'm not saying this is gonna be my best videos, is when you just keep making that video and just keep going on. So we're gonna keep going on, I'll edit it, hopefully it's good and hopefully you enjoy it. But again, any questions you've got, put it in the comment section below, and I will try and answer them my best I can. But let's get Neptune in, let's give him a bit of a pamper, and let's see all the cows. I was about to say, his gate's going to come out. <sighs> right, so we have him in, finally. And again, if anyone mentions about this, we're going to scrape up. The tyre's been fixed, but it just wasn't fixed this morning. We have Neptune in, he's in his stall. So when we did his foot, six weeks ago, eight weeks ago, it was a long time ago, we were going to do his tail at the same time, but obviously he broke the crush. If you don't remember seeing it, this is what happened. <laughs> I don't think this crush is made for a bull, but on that size anyway. So what I'm gonna do now is just clean his back end up, trim his tail. I did speak to about the vet about amputating his tail. He was thinking you've got to do it the third or fourth vertebrae, but um, we don't know. I do mention every time we get Neptune out. The reason he has such a mucky back end is because he's fallen off a heifer about two years ago. He's broken the tail, we think, around here. It doesn't even lift it up ever. Better give him a nice clean today. Um, so obviously the poo all goes here, which is gross, and it cannot be comfortable for him. So an option is to amputate the tail about there and then see if it works. It's not going to be in today's video, but I'm going to ring the vet today, take some photos of how it looks and what we can do and then see if she'll come in the next couple of days and we might do it whilst he's this side and we've got an eye on him. We'll look at him every day coming in and out. Might be able to sort it right. Get his back end cleaned and get him looking as good as we know we can get him to look. That's it. What I'm doing now is just clean his tail off of all the muck buttons because clippers don't go through them very well. Can't wait to see him on the cow brush. The one outside, he's gonna love it. I'll try and get a video of it at the end of this video. Great. Soon find out if that anchor's any good on it, won't you? <laughs> yes, we will. Give him a good clean. Full muck. Dad started scraping, what a nice guy. I hate long tails. So that for the bull is really annoying. We would have done it when he clipped his feet, but uh, he wasn't in the mood that day. And he'd broken out the crush. There we go. Swing through again. Not happy, but it's 10 times better. We'll show you a before photo. And then we'll show you an after photo. So this is what it looks like after. 10 times better. This is what I wanted to do after we clipped his foot. He looks so good. He fills the whole of this, but he's not tall, which is great. So it's really good for our heifers. He doesn't actually put a lot of his weight on the heifers. He has a massive neck, don't you, boy? Good lad. Yep, I know. Okay, it's just a cracking ball. I like everything about him. He's just amazing. Love him. Absolutely love him. Hopefully, he'd have got our Highlands and calf as well. Put some fly on him. Keep the flies away. And whilst these heifers are here as well, just put a bit on there. Look how good he looks, sorry, but can we just look at him? He looks so much better, I'm so happy you clipped him and you, I'm gonna do him again before he goes back into the field with those. He's been flied and look at him. Hey boy, I, bet I can't wait for him to see the cow brush. Like Des says, that will test that anchor. We're gonna let the heifers go and let 120 cows see a big Angus bull. Yeah boy. Playing a risky game there, weren't you, Tom? I know. And um, the sun's just come out as well. It's like it's fake. Dad started you know scraping the yard off. The yard's looking cleaner. Oh. No matter what they say, you know you're always right. You got a heart of gold. The moon is on your side. No matter where you go. What will happen is the cows will sense a bull's been in here. So we've put two dry cows here already, and they've not bothered. But that bull being here, they will be bothered.
Guys, that is the end of today's video. Neptune just stood there, let all the girls come to him, found the cow brush, loving life. How much better does he look after he's doing his tail? I'm gonna send some photos to Susie to see what we can do. Is it worth amputating? Amputating. The only problem with amputating it is if it does get infected and goes to his spine, that could obviously knock him for six. So that's the only issue we do have, but we'll see what she thinks anyway. Tractor tire has actually got air in it, which is amazing. Des is on with washing the trailer out some new dry cows gone dry some dry cows come here ready for carving some heifers come here ready for carving neptune gonna serve some girls for the next seven to ten days probably let's be honest if i don't do it the first day when i'm back and uh good job done prepped for weekend off uh some of you on instagram and snapchat will find kind of find out where i'm going i'm not going to say fully but i'll tell you where i'm off to on a plane which is very very exciting but hopefully you'll find out in the future who knows what happens? Who knows? Guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up. It means the world to me. Subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Get your TP merch at pemsesfarmshop.co.uk slash TP merch. I've had a beanie on all day. That says to me the beanies will have to come back out. Uh, anything else? Not really. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed it. Even these boring videos, remember to put a comment in if you've got any questions. See ya. Bye.